Hey everybody, this is Coach Steve with Steve Miller Golf. We're out here at Harmony Golf Reserve and we're just kind of touching base on some of the questions that I get from my students on, you know, hey coach, how do I hit these shots? Well, this one came from one of my students most recently where, look, I'm really struggling with my bunker shots and I don't know how to get out of the bunker with any kind of consistency. Well, one of the things that makes a bunker a little bit less intimidating for a better player as opposed to a less experienced player is that we kind of know what, what we're intending to do and what the expectations are. So you see I've got two different lies here. One, we've got a nice raked area, so this is going to be a little bit more softer sand. And then I've got one sitting over here in a little bit more firmer packed sand. Um, so it's going to be just a, a completely different approach to how it is I want to hit this. Now, with the one that's raked up, so if you play in soft sand uh, at your club, you have to make sure you have plenty of bounce to be able to get that club to glide through the sand. The setups are very, very similar. Um, you know, a little bit changing with the, uh, with the face angle to be able to help it out, but we want to make sure we're using the bounce when we're in soft sand. So as we set up to it, we're going to hit this bunker shot out here and we're going to get in there and we're going to get the ball positioned very, very forward in our stance. We're going to pressure our front foot a little bit. And we're going to keep this lower body very, very stable. When we make a swing through, we have to keep speed going through and commit to the sand, hitting the ball out. It may look a little like this. Open that face a little bit. Set up, up, down, through. Nice little thump. Put that golf ball into the middle of the green. Now, when we're playing out of a little bit firmer sand, um, if you have a high bounce wedge, it could actually be to your detriment where you could skip into the golf ball. So when you're playing on really, really hard packed and firm sand, you want to make sure you get that leading edge behind the ball and into the sand. So again, we can get the sand to get the ball out. So all we're going to do is instead of maybe opening the face so much, is we're just going to go at it with a little bit more of a square blade look so that we can get the leading edge into the sand and through the golf ball. Uh, because it's also a little bit firmer packed, the ball is going to come out just a touch faster. So you may not need to put as much effort, but you still have to make sure you've got some speed going through. Same exact setup, a little bit more of a square face position. And all we're going to do is make sure we go through the sand and into the finish. So you see how one was a little bit more gliding, able to get that nice little thump out. And the last one, just a little bit more digging and letting that sand still get the ball out and releasing to the hole location. If you need help with this or any other part of your game, please give me a call. I would love to show you some of the techniques that can turn a less experienced player even into a better player by knowing what to do and how to use their golf clubs, especially here in the sand. So see you next time. Thanks.